What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production Wanderer. I have an awesome video for you guys today. Today, in this short video, I will be going over this great application by the name of File Browser. Now, basically, what File Browser is, it's an application that will allow you to access files that's stored on your hard drive and your Macs that's at your home. So, if you have a MacBook Pro, an iMac, or MacBook Air, or Mac Pro, you can access those files that's on your computer through your iOS device or your iPhone. Now, right now, I currently really have my iPhone and my iPad mini here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you can save space on your iPad mini when you're at your house. So let's just say if you have a lot of music that you would like to play through your iPad mini or your iPad and you don't necessarily want to store it on your device to take up those gigabytes, you can just play it through file browser. Therefore, when you're on your Mac surfing the web or maybe you're editing or something like that, you don't even have to open up iTunes. You can just play all your music right from your iPad and you don't have to worry about taking up not a bit of space on it. Let me show you how you can do so. So I want to start by opening up file browser here. First, I'm going to open up my iPad mini here. And right now you're looking at my iPad that's on my iMac screen here. So, okay, I'm going to open up file browser. Now this is the application itself. Once you download it from the iTunes store, this application currently costs $4.99. You can install it on your iPad and you can install it on your iPhone. Once it's installed, you will just have to go through setting it up and everything through configuration here, putting your password that you currently have for your Apple computer on file browser here. It'll just tell you to just basically type it in and you have to type in your password and your username and all of that good stuff. But once you have it set up, if you look here up top, you can see I currently have my hard drives that's hooked up to my Mac. And if you just click on the hard drive that has your music on it, like so, you can play it through your iPad. Now let me show you how this works. Now right now, since I currently have my iPad mirroring to my iMac here, when I play this song, it will play through the speakers that's on my iMac. But keep this in mind, when you're not mirroring your iPad to your iMac, like I'm doing right now for this YouTube video, it will just play through your iPad. So don't worry about that. It's only gonna play this because I'm mirroring, but when I'm not mirroring, it's just gonna play through the iPad. And you can take your iPad all through your house, wherever you wanna go with it in a bathroom or whatever, and play all of the music that's stored on your external hard drive, like so. So I'm gonna pick a song here. Now I'm not gonna play this song for too long because as we all know, YouTube, they're kinda strict on the copyrighted information and all of that good stuff, so. Like so. Okay, that was a quick demonstration of how it works. And once again, this is my iPad mini, and this is all on my iMac. I don't have not one song stored on my iPad mini. And just to show you here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go to my settings. Okay, now we're gonna, better yet, we'll go back, go to music, no music. See there, no music at all is on the iPad. All of the music that I just showed you guys, stored in file browser right here it's all on my iMac i hope you guys enjoyed this short video please rate comment and subscribe if you guys did this is your man big b production 100 i'll let you